Welcome back, gamers. Today, we're diving into something a bit different. You know our mission, testing games on low-end PCs without a dedicated graphics card. But what happens when we hit a wall? Well, that's exactly what we're about to find out with Delta Force Hawk Ops on Steam. I was really excited to give this one a go. I mean, who wouldn't want to experience some tactical action in the world of Delta Force? But, as you can see, things didn't go exactly as planned. I was greeted with this lovely message. Game currently requires a dedicated graphics card to run. Now, I know what you're thinking, but isn't that what integrated graphics are for? I thought the same thing. I was hoping to dive into the game, tweak the settings, and see how it performs on my trusty i3 without a dedicated GPU. Unfortunately, the game didn't even give me a chance. No options to lower the resolution, no way to adjust the graphics settings, nothing. It's a hard stop. So, if you're running a low-end PC like mine, you're out of luck for now. This was a real disappointment, especially considering how many games these days are optimizing for lower-end systems. Games like Combat Master and even the classic world of Goo 2 have shown us that it's possible to enjoy decent gaming experiences on older hardware. I was really hoping Delta Force Hawk Ops would follow suit. But all is not lost. There's still hope. Developers sometimes ease system requirements in future updates, especially if there's enough demand from the community. So, if you're like me and really want to see Delta Force Hawk Ops playable on integrated graphics, make your voice heard. Maybe, just maybe, they'll introduce a patch that allows us to tweak the settings, even if it means sacrificing some graphical fidelity. After all, it's the gameplay that matters most, right? In conclusion, while it's a bummer that we can't dive into Delta Force Hawk Ops on a low-end PC right now, all hope is not lost. Keep an eye out for updates, and who knows, maybe in the near future, we'll be able to enjoy this game on even the most modest of setups. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this video helpful, or if you're in the same boat as me, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more low-end PC game reviews. And as always, drop a comment below if you have any game suggestions, or if you've had a similar experience. Until next time, keep gaming, no matter your hardware.